Welcome to Edinburgh. What a decision you made in the idea that you wanted to be present at this momentous occasion where you are going to attempt to alter the concept that you have of yourself right here now at this time and in this place. Now. Because this time and place will be the recognition, shall we practice? Say to me, of myself. What we're offering each other is the certainty of self-responsibility. Here we go. Mostly, I want you to be happy within your own mind at the prospect that the responsibility for what's going on in the world are actually contained in your own mind. Turn, let's go together here at Edinburgh. This room, this is a special room. In case you wonder where you are, it's called the hub. And you're here, and I know that you're here with me. And I'm meeting, and I agreed to meet a group of associations of self-recognizing self, we're in the practice of the necessity for you to see yourself, okay, in order to get a picture of what's out in the universe will be yours to make. Now, I've got uh, eight minutes, you know that I use time. Now, the offering that when you came in here, you gather around me for a minute here. The offering that you came with me in this direction of the manner in which I'm going to attempt to alter my association with you or why I'm here. You can see me very plainly, can't you? Here, let's try it this way, okay? I'm very certain in my mind that there's a continual change in the manner in which you're viewing me going on within the perspective of yourself. I am also certain in the fundamental teaching that I offer you that I am self-conscious of what appears to be the manner in which I'm viewing myself in this episode of coming here to Edinburgh. Now, we've invited and this is about as truthful as I can be with you in regard to the idea that all time is actually past, okay? In other words, the idea that all time is past and that you're no longer here are the nature of why we're celebrating. Listen with me. I'll just read you this beginning so you can get an idea of it. Remember, it's a worldwide gathering in which we realize a moment of eternal peace. The holiest of all the spots on earth is where this ancient hatred has become a present love. Remember what we said? An ancient promise will be kept. An exit portal from this infinitely small maze of space and time has been opened. You remember, time lasted but an instant in your mind with no effect upon eternal life. And so is all time past, isn't it? And everything exactly as it was before the way to nothingness was made. The tiny tick of time in which the first mistake was made and all of them within that one mistake 
held also the correction for that one and all of them that came within the first. And in that tiny instant, time was gone, for that's all it ever was. What God gave answer to is answered and is gone. And I'm back with you there. Now, how much time actually elapsed in the definition of my need to explain to you the presence of a reflected condition of me here in Edinburgh right now. We've got three days here, and we're going to be concentrating on the efforts that you begin to entertain initially. The idea that I am responsible for what I'm saying, okay? I'm choosing the outcome that I want to be true is in my own mind and everything that's happening to me, okay? I have decided somewhere within the space-time framework that I want to be so. Now, I'm obviously a teacher of an alternative in mind training of a new manner in which I can view myself. Now, it's not going to do me a lot of good to look out into the world and see reflections of light that indicate past tense relations and arrangements of what I want to say. Now, the notation that I am going to do this will involve a little script that's important for you to hear. Now, the entirety of the teaching of the process of, say to me, physical healing, are my certainty that the physicality of me is actually only contained within my own mind. That is, by the time you look back at me, okay, and you believe that I'm a reflection of you within my own mind, I'm really not seeing anything in the sense that what I am seeing can only be what I put out there in my own arrangement. You listen with me just a moment, will you? Hey, uh, yeah, uh, they caught me with the quantum loop. I, I gotta come with the idea of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The science of my mind in Heisenberg uh, were one of the occurrences uh, in a gentleman that is going to make his appearance here in about six minutes and give you as vivid a description of the nature of why you remain uncertain about who you are as you're ever liable to hear. Uh, now, let's try it just for a moment because I'm curious. See, I'm, I'm not at all sure who I am or what I'm doing here. In fact, I'm uncertain. Come on now, you're there, there, you, there. You know perfectly well that you seem to be in an association of a correspondent of reflection of light. All right, now, I'll try this with you. The alternative in the variation within the quantum idea of the light particle wave identity that you're seeing, perhaps are letting you catch glimpses here in Edinburgh of a different manner. Now, let's try it. Should we do try just a little bit? Here, I have a, a miracle healer's handbook, and I intend to heal you, utilizing a new idea in my mind. If it's true that the quantum idea of my association can only contain ideas of what I think I am in relationship. I'm called the a teacher of teachers, well I am, is a new version of the idea that before I came here and after I left, the universe is out there. Can you see this with me? No, this is not hard. You are in totality of admission that time is going to pass within your idea of how long you think it takes you in this three-day interlude in order to process data. Now, what's going to be coming here um, in about six minutes is somebody that perhaps you have not seen in over 400 years. 